we are going to look at how to convert between standard and scientific notation. How do you write 6.31 times 10 to the second in standard form? Well, when we're looking at scientific notation, we're really working with place value. When you multiply a number by 10, or 10 to any power, it's gonna move the decimal either to the right or to the left. If you're multiplying by something larger than one, like 10 or 10 to the second power, it's gonna move our decimal point to the right, right? When we move this point, like if we moved it one spot to the right, we'd have 63.1. If we moved it two spots, we'd have 631. Moving a decimal point to the right makes our number larger. So multiplying by 10 to the second power should make this number larger. The reason moving at decimal places works because our place value system is based on a value of 10. So if we were just multiplying by 10 to the first, which is just 10, we would only move it one place. But since we're multiplying by 10 to the second power, which is really 100, we need to move our decimal point to places. So anytime you see a problem written in scientific notation, which scientific notation looks like this, it always has one digit in front of a decimal point, some numbers afterwards, and then it's multiplied by 10 to some power. If you want to turn it into standard form, which is basically our normal or regular way to write a number, you're just gonna move that decimal point to get rid of the 10 times 10 to a power part. So that exponent of two is telling us that we're gonna take our decimal point and move it two places. And since it's a positive two exponent, it's gonna be two places to the right. So if I move this decimal point one spot, it would be 63.1. Moving it two spots gives me 631. So that means our standard form of this number would be 631. How do you write 1.9 times 10 to the first in standard form? Just like we did last time, we're gonna look at what our exponent is and use that to know how many decimal places we're gonna move this number. Since this time our exponent is one, it's telling us to only move our decimal point one place. So I'm gonna move my decimal point one place to the right, and that would give me 19.0, or just 19. How do you write 8.24 times 10 to the first in standard form? So if I look at my exponent, my exponent is one, that's telling me to move my decimal point one place. So if I move it one place, it's going to land between the two and the four, and that's going to be 82.4. How do you write 1.98 times 10 to the first in standard form? Okay, well since our exponent is one, I'm gonna move my decimal point one place, so it's gonna land in between the nine and the eight, so that's gonna give me 19.8. How do you write 7.87 .87 times 10 to the second power in standard form? This time our exponent is two, so that's telling us to move the decimal point two places. So one place would land here, two it's gonna land after the seven. So it's 787.0, which we don't bother with the point zero, so that's just 787. How do you write 4.35 times 10 to the second in standard form? Well, since our exponent on the 10 is two, that's telling us to move our decimal point two places, so it's gonna land after the five. So that would be 435. If you put your decimal point, you'd say 0, .0 but when it's 0, .0, we don't write that. So 435.
how do you write 3.67 times 10 to the third in standard form? Okay, well our exponent of three tells us to move our decimal point three places. But what happens here is after I move it two places, I run out of numbers. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to fill in a zero after that. So let's go back here for just a second. When we have this number, 3.67, keep in mind that I can fill in as many zeros as I want at the end of a decimal point. Would you guys agree with me that that's the same number? It is. So this helps me if I put a few zeros here, it helps me have room to move my decimal point. So when I'm using my um, scientific notation here, 10 to the third power, that's telling me to move my decimal point one, two, three places, I'm going to wind up with, if I wrote it this way, 3,670.0. But again, remember, you don't typically write 0. 0.0. I just filled in some extra zeros there. So that would be the same thing as 3,670. Okay, now we're going in the opposite direction. How do you write 332 in a proper scientific notation? So remember the rule is you always put just one digit in front of the decimal point. So when I'm setting this up, I would say, okay, I would want 3.32. And then we're thinking to ourselves, well, how many times would I have to multiply it by 10? Or in other words, how many decimal places would I have to move that decimal point in order for this to be equal to 332? Well, notice it would be two decimal places away. So my exponent would be two, or I'd have to multiply this by 10 to the second power. How do you write 582 in proper scientific notation? Okay, well let's look at our notation first and then we'll go back and talk about the variables in here. So for scientific notation, the rule is it's always just one digit in front of our decimal point. So I would write this as 5.82. And then I have to think to myself, well how many times do I need to move that decimal point to make it equal to 582? Right? And I would need to move it one, two places, which means it would be 10 to the second power. So notice when I write it this way, the 5.82 is in place of x. So I would say that x is equal to 5.82. And notice the exponent would be w. My exponent is 2. So I would say that w is equal to 2. How do you write 54.9 in proper scientific notation? Okay, well again, we know it's only one digit we wanna put in front of our decimal point, so we wanna change this to 5.49. And then we're thinking to ourselves, well, how many decimal places would I have to move this, five, this, um, this point to make it equal to 54.9? I would have to move it one place, so that means it would be 10 to the first power. And just like before, they're just using variables in place of our numbers. We can see that x is where the 5.49 would go, so x is equal to 5.49. And that w is where our exponent of 1 would go, so w is equal to 1. 